Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Rouser's Digital Alarm Clock, which is a special virtual pet alarm clock that's more than just a basic time-telling piece. In addition to having a very large LCD display, it also features a lot of different features like a speaker that's really loud and it also plays back MP3 and acts like a speaker where you can hook up your MP3 player or your cell phone and to make that the alarm or to simply play back music. It also functions, as you can see, a bright LED uh, light, a night light, um, which you can turn on and off, which is below here. It also looks pretty cool and you're setting it on a flat table, which we're not doing right now. Um, and you can also make this kind of a night reading product if you hold it up, it's really lightweight. Um, What's also cool is it features a really interactive animated style. The Rousers, this is the dog version of the Rousers, and it has this dog bark whenever you want to wake up and interact with the product. When the alarm goes off, the tail on the back starts wagging, and the speaker is really, really loud. It's located behind the display panel, and it actually sets off this barking dog that's impossible for you to keep on sleeping. It rouses you up from any deep dream, and that's really cool. It goes entirely with the name. So in addition to being kind of cool, it has a lot of features, and it's a great alarm clock about all things else. To get a lot of design on the top, we have a really nice snooze button. It's really easy to press. It's really tactile. The device is made out of plastic, so again, it's pretty lightweight, and that's important because on the bottom, you also see it has three AAA batteries, which just means that if you don't want to use the AC power jack, you can also take it on, uh, on vacations with you and just use the batteries. The good thing about that is the batteries last pretty long. The bad thing about it is that when, you, when you're using on batteries and then you go home and then you want to reconnect to an AC adapter, unfortunately there's no memory card saying that I'm going to save your time. This is the time and once I plug into the power source, it's not going to keep this time. It's going to reset itself to 12 o'clock. So every single time this power AC cord gets loose or it gets kind of like reset accidentally or you press it or you tug on the cord, the whole power piece gets reset and you have to reset the time and that was a nuisance that we found but overall as you can see the display is really easy to read um usually night scents are a little your bed is going to be a little higher than your nightstand so you're going to be reading this from this angle and the matrix display is really easy to actually see the backlighting is really bright if you don't um however we didn't find another problem was that if your bed happens to be lower than your nightstand then you'll, if you're looking at this at a linear degree, then you're looking at a completely washed out, unreadable display. It's kind of weird. All right, so now this is a barking. You can hear an alarm for a second. So that's it, and you can see the little tail wagging, so it's kind of cute. All right, let's turn it off, and we can turn it off. So it's it's pretty interesting concept. As you can see, everything is very interactive with this product. Again, from a 180-degree viewpoint, this display is un unreadable, but it's designed to be set on a table, and it's designed for a bedroom setting where your bed is going to be a little bit higher than your nightstand, and therefore you'll be able to see the time really clearly. But if it's not, then unfortunately that's something of an issue. Um, so again, very cool concept, especially if you're on a black surface or you're putting this on a black tabletop. The whole nightstand thing, um, backlighting is great as a nightstand and it's great as a LED indication. Uh, to navigate the entire things, on the back we have the switch where you can go through and cycle through the alarms and times. On the left hand side we have the indication to turn on or turn off the back um, LED that's under here. If we press it, this one's to turn on and off the alarm. This one's to turn on or off the light. We can turn that off if you don't want it. And of course, on the other side, this is the 3.5mm headphone jack. This is the audio port, so you want to plug in your cell phone, plug in your Android or iPhone, plug in your MP3 player. You plug it into this port, and then the music gets played via the speaker. This is the volume up, volume down. It's also the same thing that navigates time. So when we're setting time, we basically, you know, one minute higher, one hour up. You basically set everything through these two controls. All the buttons on this device are really easy to press, really tactile, and you know it, it's really lightweight and it's just a nice experience overall. It feels well made as well. The speaker, as you can tell, is really loud um, for alarms. So again, it's impossible not to wake up. But for music playback, again, we're going to alliterate that sounds kind of sound a little bit tinny, as you might expect. It's not the most clear, but that's not the main purpose of this device. It's really to rouse you up from your deepest sleeps. And for that, it fits the bill at a very inexpensive doll price tag of around $30. It's got a really nice set of features from LED lights, from night lights, to a great piece of alarm clock, from portability to interactive animation, all the way to playing mp3 music. Overall, a great little device, the Rousers Alarm Clock. Check out our full review on the website. Thank you for watching here at osmvdxreviews.com.